Right. Um, looking at the time, I believe this is going to be the last game that I will cast tonight. Um, it is Confused Gamer uh, versus Burger Slayer. It's on Orbital Shipyard, a very popular map it seems. And just looking at this, all three of these games are on Orbital Shipyard. Um, you know, it'd be nice to see a bit more map variety thrown in. Uh, I guess um, you know everybody that's playing in the league, no, nobody is. Uh, very uh, sort of practiced in StarCraft, so you know I might go ahead and suggest a few maps uh, for people to check out and for people to play. Feel free to use some of the older maps. You know there are um, StarCraft's been around for a long time. There are a lot of maps. Uh, well, it's kind of interesting uh, to use the latest maps at any given time in the ladder. There's you know a good sort of uh, five or six active. Um, 1v1 maps to use, some of which have more than one spawning location and, you know, uh, varieties of the spice of life and all that. Um, anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get into this game. We are Fuse Gamer vs. Burger Slayer. Burger Slayer playing the Protoss is in the red up top and uh, Confuse Gamer playing Zerg is down at the bottom here. I seem to have a very loud StarCraft at present, so bear with me just a tick, and I'm just going to adjust that, oh, that'll be why. Uh, I'm just going to adjust that a bit so that I can hear myself. Right. Um, so, oh, that's still deafening. What's happening? Sorry about this, folks. You wouldn't get this on, like, a professional cast, you know. You just you just wouldn't. Uh, but I am not Artosis. Um... Alright, spawning pool is down already for Confused Gamer. Am I in a previous game? I saw still, still too loud. Oh no, wait, hang on, I can just turn down the volume a bit. Hopefully, you guys can hear me, um, and it's just in my ears that this is too loud. Um, sorry, uh, let's, get, let's get back to the StarCraft and not my headset. Um, yeah, in a previous game, Confused Gamer uh, pretty much held on the Z button and overcame Oon with just a flood of lings and did a pretty good job of it. Burger Slayer uh, has tricks up his sleeve as well. Look, expanding out the front on this map, an interesting choice um, when you have this very defensible back expand. This is a wide ramp and... You know, if a lot of lings come up here, it's very hard to keep them out, so I'm not sure that I like this. Um, if, if you are going to do this, definitely get a pylon down here pretty sharpish, so that you can use the overcharge on your mothership core in defense. But look, both of these players with Expos done pretty quickly, both of them looking like they know what they're about, that they've got some sort of play in mind. So the forge, interestingly, coming down for Burger Slayer, and I, he is uh, not shy about the odd cannon rush, Burger Slayer. So you know we might see some cannons come into play, um, but doesn't have a drone on the other. Sorry, uh, probe on the other side of the map at this stage. Does need to get that side core down though, as a matter of urgency, I would suggest, um, because there will be no tech until you have done so. Maybe he's just thinking, I'm going to play ultra safe, I'm going to wall myself in, I'm going to have cannons, um, and I'm just going to get my economy up and running on three bases. Um, Confused Gamer might have some different ideas. He has got an expo up, is just building workers, got queen on the go. Everything looking very straight up and normal. Um, and that's fine too. Given the money that he has in the bank, I would like at this stage to see Confused Gamer just drop a third. Um, I know this isn't saturated yet, but by the time that third finishes, uh, this would be saturated if you're just building workers. So, you know, don't be shy about doing that as a Zerg. Do remember that your hatcheries are production buildings. Um, so you do need to have you know, uh, a few of them. As a general kind of rule, it, it's commonly accepted in StarCraft that as a Zerg player you should always have one base more than your opponent. You know, so if your opponent's on two bases, as uh, Burger Slayer is presently, the Zerg needs to be on three just to be even. Um, now what have we got here? 
Sneaky, what are you guys doing? Oh no, look, it's a miss rally. This uh, Nexus is not rallied onto the minerals. That's, oh yeah, these guys, these are just hanging out. Oh, now a fourth one joins them. That's a real shame. Uh, it's easily done. When you start the game, your initial Nexus or hatchery or command center is automatically rallied to the minerals. Everyone you build after that is not, and you have to click it to the minerals yourself. Um, in this case, Burger Slayers just accidentally clicked between these two mineral patches, and these workers are not mining for him. Um, and that will be having an impact on his income. As you can see, Burger Slayer's income significantly lower than his opponent. Um, but if I actually was to look at the units, is there a big difference in... Yeah, there's a massive difference in harvesters, so that's why, what am I talking about? Uh, but this isn't going to help either. Um, so Confused Gamer are doing a very good job of getting his economy up and running. Um, what he hasn't got is any sort of defensive stuff whatsoever. Uh, but he can kind of get away with that because look, he's got this overlord just wandering about, he knows what's what. Um, you know, so he's probably very much aware that these three zealots are at home um, and that there isn't anything coming towards his side of the map. Yeah. Uh, what's this? It's an infestation pit coming down. Uh, the infestation pit will allow infestors to be built. The lair is finished. Um, and I'm curious about that. Uh, maybe he's just planning on going Investor Ling, which is not a combo that you see very often, um, but is uh, something that he's done uh, in a previous game against Dune. So there we have 18 Lings in production. Um, those are popping out. Metabolic Boost is done. So these are fast Lings. Uh, these two cannons and this stuff you know, we'll see that off if they're correctly positioned. I, I don't like this burger slayer. It's greedy, and I think you'll get found out. Um, you know, these lings might path across the map this way. They might path this way. You're against a zerg who's likely to have overlords on the map. You know, normally as a zerg player, you'd have an overlord in this region, in the center on the high ground, uh, just to see things coming. So I don't agree with this, I, I don't like it. Um, I think that's, I, I just don't think that's defensible at all. Especially when this isn't up and running yet. And uh, so I think these links are, if they move out, gonna find that um, and make short work of it. Uh, but uh, before I got distracted by that, um, I was saying something about these being able to see off even this many lings if they're correctly positioned, and I stand by that. But the correct positioning would be for these zealots to be blocking this gap. So two, possibly three zealots side by side, standing here, making sure that the lings cannot get past them. Um, if the zealots are like that, the lings can't get a surround on them, and the work that these cannons will do, that the zealots will do against the lings, combined with, where's the mothership core? Is there, is there a mothership core? Yes, uh, combined with, the mothership core perhaps needs to be a bit more forward, combined with a photon overcharge here, it would actually hold a huge number of things. There we see, uh, I'm sorry, my observing rubbish is there. Uh, we didn't quite get to see uh, that desk go down, but it did go down. It went down pretty sharply. Now well, this is a vast number of things. The mothership core needs to get over here. We need that for the overcharge. We need the extra damage out of the mothership core. If the lings get in, you're in trouble. Once they start to sort of and stuff, it's problematic. Uh, where's the mothership core coming really late to the party? Um, I think this is trouble. I think it's just far too many lings to be able to deal with. Um, yeah, uh, and look, again, still links in production. Confused Gamer are doing an excellent job of just uh, building loads and loads of stuff. And it's fine. 227, this game is over. So there definitely was uh, a chance for Burger Slayer to hold that. Um, but the Mothership Corps needs, it's such an important defensive unit. It needs to be up here on the front. We have three pylons here. Um, a full energy mothership core can overcharge all three of those. In addition to that, the mothership core itself is going to do damage. 
and all the DT in the mix. Well, he's going to be working hard, uh, but it, it, he's, you know, like, hey, 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 no, 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 um, as a follow-up to this, look, 22 more lings are going to be coming shortly. Um, this, this is on the way as well. It, it is over. Um, the spire is building. Um, yeah, pretty good play from Hughes Cameron. Um, anybody watching this, would, uh, perhaps it's going to be playing Hughes Cameron soon. Might be interesting to see this style. Uh, expect a lot of lings. Uh, make sure you're in it at the right position to hold. Yeah, so a couple of mistakes by Burgess there. I'd also count as a mistake for not having the side court line early enough. So, you know, the gateways that were at the front were not warp gates. So, when this turned up, he was not able to warp in um, defensive looks straight away. And he is hanging in there with these DTs that are doing crazy. Oh, 39 points on that. Where is it? Oh, it's more like 39, not always 100. 18, 39, 42, 40. Yeah, man, uh, that's a that's an awful lot of ling death, isn't it? <laughs> 191 minutes killed. But it doesn't matter because, you know, look at this income tab. It just It doesn't matter. Um, yes, you have killed a million lings. But there's a million more coming, um, and when they're dead, a million more will come after that. Um, yeah, they, uh, this is truly unbelievable. At the same time, though, the Fuse Gamer does need to realize that they're uh, uh, um, Like this pile of seven comes in, um, you know, that's not uh, important. The photon of the charge for the mothership for seven at the close of the single pylon, but what was being focused. You know, had these three pylons at the front door been active in that way, you can imagine 20 plus kills uh, from the three of them, and it would have been more than that ultimately uh, because they would not have been surrounded and they uh, wouldn't have gone down. Um, so, look, we've got corruptors coming. Um, is he going for. Uh, Greater spire? Where is the spire? No, so I'm not sure about how many corruptors. Um, Mutus would have been uh, certainly the better choice at this stage, where your opponent is broken. Um, you don't really need to attack the brood lords, you just need to kill his stuff as quickly as you can. Um, you need to realize that there's cloaked units there and morph in an overseer. Um, I guess he'll find out about this in due course. Burger Slayer grimly hanging on, refusing to uh, give up. This this game is very over. Um, you know you're mining with, with four workers. Mother should of course come on. Yeah, I mean, you have 16 more things in production. Just keep them coming. And uh, yes, the DT is a lot of work, but uh, yeah, seven on a single DT. It's insane, man. Um, but it's not going to matter. None of it's going to matter. Really. So, uh, ultimately can win. And I am just going to fast forward because I don't think there's anything left to see other than just lanes killing buildings. Uh, so uh, let's just do this on double time. And, uh, yeah, so uh, Confused Gamer just showing uh, the power of Zerg, the power of numbers uh, is what Zerg is about. You know, get your experts down early, get your economy up and running, uh, and then just build loads of something you want you build. It isn't as much as isn't as important as how much of it you build. Like this is just why, why, Slayer, why? Come on dude. Um, okay. GG. Uh, that was game one, and you know, since I fast forwarded a bit and that didn't take long, and I've still got some beer left, I might just go ahead and cast game two. Let's try it.